In today's generation of the NBA, we have witnessed greatness from all these point guards that have been balling out of their minds through their whole through their whole career and this whole generation, including Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, Damian Lillard, Drew Holiday, and of course Steph Curry. But people want to gloss over the fact of the old generation of the greatness of point guards, including Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton, Steve Nash, and the crew, all those greats. And one just assumed that Steph Curry is the greatest point guard of all time. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about who is truly the greatest point guard in NBA history. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Will, and we're finally back with another video. And since the NBA season is coming out, I'm going to be more consistent with these videos. I'm going to be drop, trying to drop them every week. Y'all going to see more uploads coming very soon. But I posted on my on my Instagram about all the great the greatest players at the positions, right? And one player come to mind, somebody said Steph Curry is the greatest point guard ever. Really? So we just want to gloss over the fact. We just want to gloss over the other great, greatest point guards of Isaiah Thomas, Magic Johnson, John Stockton, these other greats back in the day. And we just want to automatically say Seth Curry is the greatest point guard ever because of scoring ability, shooting ability. No, no, no. I'm about to get real hectic with this topic because... I know there's a lot of Curry fans out there. Let's be honest. There's a lot of Warriors fans out there. And I just want to bring the attention and bring factuals. Bring factual, my opinion, but straight facts also. I'm going to save my piece and I believe my opinion is right on this. Seth Curry is not the greatest point guard of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Not yet, at least. I should have had to say this. Can y'all just stop disrespecting Magic Johnson as he was the greatest point guard ever? There's a dis ladies and gentlemen, there's a difference between best and greatest. I'm gonna put it this way. Did Steph Curry ever make players around him better? His whole time in his career. Did Steph Curry ever make players around him better? Did Steph Curry ever average 10 assists per game? In his whole career. Did Steph Curry. Ever average more than five rebounds. We got to ask these questions. Because Magic Johnson. Do his whole entire career. Had averaged 12 assists a game. Not only he had that. He won. Five rings. Not only that. With the LA Lakers. He had three finals MVPs. Not only that, he won the NBA championship his first as a rookie playing center versus the Philadelphia 76ers. That one game he averaged 42. Not average, but he dropped 42 on them as a center. Will Steph Curry ever do that? No. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest shooter. But let's let's ask let's ask I'ma ask everybody, all y'all, in the comments, watching this video. And I thank y'all for watching this video. Please make sure y'all subscribe for more basketball videos. Anyways, people that's watching this video, what else does Steph Curry do so great at? Other than shooting and ball handling. I'm asking everybody in the comments for this. I want y'all to answer this. Answer this in the comments. What does Steph Curry do better than Magic Johnson other than shooting and ball handling? And ball handling is the good or debatable, even though Steph Curry is probably wins. Good, but we gotta think this is different eras. Magic Johnson in his era, he was dripping the ball from his from like post 
he was posting up as dribbling to his half court. Because back in the day, there's not, it was not much ball handling control back in the day. It was not much crazy ball handling back in the day. It was just simple ball handling. It was, sim it was more simple back then. You get the ball, you dribble it up the court, and you put it in the basket. Nowadays, everybody wants to be flashy. Everybody wants to dribble. Everybody wants to break somebody's ankles. Everybody wants to dribble behind their, behind their back, between their legs, and show off for the crowd. Which, it makes for more exciting for basketball, absolutely. But, back in the day, it was a lot more simpler. It was a lot more physical. And, you can make an argument it was better competition. Now, again, I'm going to ask this question one more time. What else does Seth Curry do better? Not even Magic Johnson. That Isaiah Thomas at, other than shooting and ball handling. I'm going to say it again. Seth Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. That does not make him the greatest point guard. When has Seth Curry made players around him better like Magic Johnson did? When Magic Johnson in his, in his whole career with the Lakers, he made players around him like James Worthy. He made, even though Kareem was already a great, he made Kareem even better, one of the greats that people forget about, to what he is. Because of Magic Johnson, because of his passing ability, and his ability to feed him at the right, feed Kareem and James Worthy at the right, at the right positions, at the right spots, feed them at the spots to get the to get the ball in the basket easier. Seth Curry comes off screens from Draymond Green, who I think personally makes makes players around him better on the words than Seth Curry does. Seth Curry is a sniper. You can say he's the best scoring point guard of all time. You can say that. I give you that. But again, there's a difference. People need, y'all need to realize. There is a difference between scoring point guard and pure floor general point guard. Which I think Chris Paul in this generation does great at. He's one of the best in the game at that. He might be the best in the game at being the floor general of his team. He's a true point guard. John Stockton back in the day was a true point guard. Steve Nash was a true point guard. They didn't score as much as Steph Curry. They didn't have much ball handling other than Chris Paul did, but they didn't have much ball handling back in the day. Steve Nash was a great ball handler, but I think Chris Paul was better. But Steve Nash was such a great passer it was the reason why he won MVP. He could have had two of them. I believe he did have two. But again, there's a reason why Steve Nash got his team to, I believe, the conference finals. And he almost got him to the finals. Steph Curry has Klay Thompson. He had KD. And he had a great team around him. Yes, the Warriors did a great job in the draft, just drafting everybody in the right in the right time and building a great team around Steph Curry. That's really what happened, y'all. Steph Curry became the greatest scoring point guard, the most unstoppable guard to shoot. He's the greatest shooter we have ever seen. But that does not make him the greatest point guard. There's more to being a true floor general which Magic Johnson was the greatest playmaker other than LeBron James we have ever seen in NBA history ladies and gentlemen Magic Johnson averaged 12 assists through his whole, whole entire NBA career not only he did that he was a great defender he was great at rebounding and I think he was more clutch than Seth Curry we've seen Seth Curry come up short many times in the playoffs We see him miss big shots. We see him make big shots, and we also see him miss big shots that he was supposed to make. Magic Johnson, his whole career, average. I'm not even going to, you know what, at this point, let's not even bring the accolades into this because it, it's not even worth it. Steph Curry needs to be better at passing. Even though Steph Curry is a good, decent Decent pass, 
pastor compared to all the greats. He's a good pastor, but compared to all the greats that I mentioned, he's decent. The most assists he's averaged through his whole entire career was seven. And he's a point guard, ladies and gentlemen. He averaged his whole, his whole career, he averages 6.5 assists a game. His whole career. Excuse me, there was one season that he averaged almost 9 assists a game. And again, let's, go, let's get to the defensive side of things. Steph Curry, yes, he sits 3. He's, he barely can guard anybody. He can get steals. He can get that. But for his size compared to Magic Johnson, when Magic Johnson was 6'9", 6'8", 6'9", as a point guard? Magic Johnson was obviously a better defender than Seth Curry. Better rebounder. Better floor general. And he took care of the ball better than Seth Curry also. Seth Curry turned the ball a little more. Magic turned the ball over, but Seth Curry turned the ball a little more. Again... Ladies and gentlemen. And we're not going to deny all the other great point guards who I just mentioned. It's John Stockton, who averaged probably more assists than Magic. But we know why Magic is better than John Stockton. Okay? Isaiah Thomas. This is a Bulldog. Bulldog point guard. Steve Nash. Big time. Get the Chris Paul. Get the this generation of point guards. Get the Damian Lillard. We get the Russell Westbrook. We get to all these point guards, ladies and gentlemen. Seth Curry is the best at scoring. Seth Curry is, is the most unstoppable from scoring the ball as a point guard. Greatest shooter we've ever seen. But out of all the point guards that I mentioned, Who's better at playmaking? Are y'all taking West Westbrook over Seth Curry for playmaking? Are y'all taking Chris Paul over Seth Curry for playmaking and four generally? And last but not least, are y'all taking Steph Curry over Magic Johnson as the greatest point guard ever in NBA history? Are y'all really doing that? Are you really coming to the conclusion of that already? And I'm going to mention this. If if whatever y'all decide, because y'all are entitled to y'all own opinion, I'm entitled to mine. I just believe Magic Johnson is definitely the greatest point guard involved in the NBA history. Seth Curry, he still got a lot to do to get up to Magic Johnson in that. Now, he's the greatest scoring point guard ever. But it's the difference between best and greatest. There's a difference between... Pure point guard, four generator, and scoring point guard. I'm gonna mention this for y'all getting y'all to y'all uh conclusion. Magic Johnson has five rings. Seth Curry has three. Magic Johnson has three finals MVPs. Steph Curry has zero. Hmm. And y'all still want to put Steph Curry over the as the greatest point guard ever. When he came off a season of almost winning MVP, but still can it get his team to the playoffs? Any other point guard that you would think would be the greatest point guard can get their team to the playoffs. Why couldn't Seth Curry do that? Oh, he had much help. Oh. Um... Didn't LeBron have any help in 2018 season? Is he a point guard? Or is he a great playmaker? Who's a better playmaker? Seth Curry or LeBron James? But y'all say Seth Curry is the greatest point guard. I just want y'all to reevaluate y'all opinion. Because y'all everybody's entitled to your opinion. And I want y'all to think, comment down below y'all opinions and y'all feedback on this video and what I said. And I want y'all to comment down below who y'all taking 
as a greatest point guard. It don't have to be Magic. It don't have to be Steph. It can be any other point guard y'all y'all witnessed. It's yeah, all y'all tied to opinion. I respect all y'all opinions. I thank y'all for tuning in for this video. It, again, if y'all new to my channel, y'all love basketball content and y'all love the NBA, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be dropping more. I'm going to be more consistent. And I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.